Hi everyone, it's Bitcoin from the Big Chubowski in the first round of this last week of 5v5, fighting a guy called Dzoni Mahoney from the Guild, 104th Battalion. Uh, he's got 615k lifetime score, like me, three Galactic Legends, but he has, uh, in my opinion, the strongest three, or rather the strongest combination of the three that you could have in PvP. But of course, his Guild probably doesn't like it too much in terms of TB. Uh, unless he really does his best there, of course, you can get a pretty good number of waves without uh, JML. But he doesn't have JKL, so I guess that hurts a little bit. Uh, anyway, it's an interesting match. I don't really get to fight this combination of three GLs a lot, because it's probably quite rare. So with that said, uh, let me get into the map where he has already attacked. But as you can see, his banner count isn't particularly high. So I put my Darth Revan and my Grievous up front, and I know that Grievous is a team that he often struggles against and drops a lot of banners on, uh, and sometimes even fails when he sends in Knight Sisters on the Newt variant. So I uh, don't know if that's what he did, but judging by his banner count, it could be. And then in the back I had General Skywalker and Maul here. So as you can see, no Galactic Legends over here, and same over there. I just went with these three teams. Uh, and he actually one-shot everything other than the team in the back, so in general his uh, banner average on all of the matches was really low. And I had to think beforehand, because he always sets more or less the same defense, with uh, General Skywalker, Padme, and uh, Ray over here. Pretty weird Ray team there, because he keeps Finn heroes for offense. And then uh, Supreme Leader Kylo on defense as well. But he changed a couple things here, because he set uh, his other First Order team too. So he's got two of them. And normally he puts JKR over here. So he tends to go really heavy on defense and in this case hasn't actually done that. Which is uh, pretty unusual to see in his defense. Like he's done the same I think like nine times in a row or something like that. So uh, he changed something up now and the back kind of remains to be seen. I'm still expecting Geos over there. Uh, and perhaps JKR is actually in the back and he just changed the position because he does often set a Phasma First Order team still. So I don't really know uh, what exactly he has done there, but uh, I guess I'll uh, be finding out pretty soon. So the SLK team here, what's interesting is that it only has one tank, obviously because he needs a lead for the other team. Now I could just go with JKL and kind of be cheap about it, but uh, based on what he has on defense and the fact that he full cleared me, I more or less have a guarantee that he's not gonna have another Galactic Legend in the back. And thus, uh, I don't really need to budget my teams too much. So I'm just going to go in here with JML and JKL. Not really uh, too much of a reason to go lighter. Yeah, so I think this is going to be the team against SLK. Uh, Hermit Yoda shouldn't really help me too much in particular. And it's nicer to have him with JKR. In this uh, specific case anyway. All right, so let's uh, immediately dispose of that taunt. I uh, kind of love to get an armor shred over here on Kylo. That could be pretty handy to have. Uh, but Hux here, let's see, I should be able to ability block him still with old Ben. So I'm gonna, well, should be able to if it lands. It does, perfect. Uh, now I could go for the stun, but instead of doing that stuff, I think I'd rather go for Hux here. Make sure that he's out so that he can't pass anything to this guy. And then uh, I'm gonna reduce his cooldown. Just kind of stay clear of the AoEs for a bit. That should allow me to maintain some good banners. I should have called Cam there actually. I need to do that more. All right, making nice progress. And this should kill. Perfect. So uh, as long as I can make sure this guy here doesn't take any turns, I should be able to get a high banner count. So now I will stun. And this guy can actually also still counter, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to get JML to full. So I'll just end it here for 59, I'll take that. Could have of course done the JKR, JKL thing, but again, I didn't really see a reason to do that here. So up against First Order then, uh, I've got plenty of options. Uh, I could even go a fair bit lighter on it, but I think I'll just send in JKR. 
And then if I do that, that means that against the Padme team, I'll be using EP Vader for that Sith team, uh, which should be all right. This time I'll bring the proper team with Treya, Sion and Nihilus, rather than that messed up thing I did last time. And then I can get started by targeting Sith Trooper, take out their main source of damage. Uh, not much of a reason to do an AoE. Keep going. Uh, do I want that advantage? That's actually kind of nice. I think I'll take that and then spread it. Hopefully pick them off now. No, not quite. Well, I'm glad he didn't target uh, Grandmaster Yoda or all my buffs would be gone. I'd have to build him back up. Uh, let's see. So there's no stealth or anything to take. Uh, I didn't need to go for him. He wasn't actually taunting. That was a bit dumb. Once Bastilla gets a turn, hopefully... Uh, he can be countered, so let's do this. Once Bastille gets a turn, hopefully control the tank. Pick off the others to stop them from taking as many turns as they're taking. That would be good. Right, now he can be countered. Spread this. And hopefully I can get some control on either of them and then recover my uh, protection banners. But the control's pretty short-lived, so it's not super useful. Uh, let's direct focus this one. And I kind of want to pick him off first. So you put that on Jolie. So Grandma Siyoda's full. I think it's just Jolie that's not quite there. Uh, I could actually... I should have called uh, Hermit Yoda to assist there. That's a misplay. But I got my 60. Nice. Alright, let's see the back. Okay, he did still set JKR and he set Grievous. So this guy went amazingly heavy on defense. That's uh, quite impressive, to be honest. How much he has set and then still managed to full clear. So, in hindsight, uh, making that split would have been nice. But it's, uh, I think, going to be okay. But I'm pretty sure that he's eagerly awaiting to see if I'm able to full clear. Okay, so I guess I'll just get started with the thing that I'm most certain about, which is uh, the Sith team on Padme here. So the goal here is to go into Merciless. We're gonna Force Crush on... Doesn't matter a lot, but I'll do GK in this case. Saber Throw Anakin. Hopefully land ability blocks on the most important characters here. Shaq is a pretty important one. That, that last round uh, certainly gave me some concerns. A saber throw there so that I can get uh, a full turn meter on everyone. Isolate General Kenobi. Now hope for a stun. Okay. Get a drain in. So essentially we've hit all the layers of safeguard here with their turn meter reduced and all of that. Uh, let me just force crush and not quite a kill. Hmm. Didn't crit there. Right, well I'm just gonna send this on him, make sure that he's dead. And I'm gonna get an Annihilate off soon, but I'm not sure I'll need it. We'll uh, find out momentarily. Let's pick off Ahsoka. And then Force Crush Shaq. Take her out before she does more counters, so at least Treya can keep her protection. That's nicer to have Thrawn, but uh, not really an option here. 
And I don't think there's anything I can do for protection recovery. Everyone's just a tad bit short from Shakti. All right, so in the interest of banners, I'm gonna do a solo here on General Skywalker with uh, Sith Eternal Emperor. I don't think I've ever actually gotten the chance to do this. So uh, let's do it. Gonna link General Skywalker and Fives. And then you kind of wait and sit around until that one guy in the middle there sits down. Recover protection, kind of focus on fives for a bit. I'll recover it again. See, I'm gonna pick him off here. There we go. Now I'm gonna link the two attackers up. Could have done it a bit sooner, but I kind of wanted to get rid of fives. Now recover protection just once, because it's a bit low. Don't really want to come out of the ultimate with no protection. Do a good old zap. And now I should be able to dispose of him for a nice 63. All right, then against Ray, I can use SLK. And I want to try, emphasis on try, to ensure that I don't drop too many characters here. So the idea is to go with these. Stormtrooper and then a tank. Uh, sorry, a tank. He is the tank. And with Thrawn, because that would save me my uh, first order team over here that I can probably use to attempt to two-shot the Grievous team. Um, and then I add troopers in there and then I can use CLS against the JKR team. That's uh, basically the plan. And after that, it's just throwing my roster against the Grievous to uh, break through it. It's basically it, but uh, this should work in theory. As long as I ensure that I don't trigger Ray's whirlwinds too early on before she's fractured. So let's try. So she life floods first on Ray Scavenger, which also means that I'm going to be going for her. Then swap over here. Hopefully I don't drop Holdo, it shouldn't be possible, but I've seen uh, some weird things. Now before I do an AoE, uh, I think I'll actually save that turn for a little bit. Uh, and let Thrawn Fracture let Thrawn Fracture uh, Ray if I'm able to. Uh, so let's see if I can push her turn meter back. Perfect. Get the Fracture. Now we're gonna go and have fun on their team. Uh, let's first put Ray Scavenger. Actually, no, I should put Ray into damage immunity. That's the highest priority. So this is gonna dispel. Now I can pass this turn. Okay, perfect. I don't think like with the guys that I have on the field here, I don't think it's gonna be possible for me to uh, survive a whirlwind, uh, sorry, not the whirlwind, the ultimate, but I'm gonna try. Okay, that's two gone, pretty good. See if I can get to Ray here. I already did a training that is. Awesome. 288k with a beautiful hit. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, I'll drain a little bit of this. Uh, might as well fill my ultimate before he dies, if he dies. Defense up would be pretty good here. Uh, my Kylo goes before Ray. 
So let's see if I can survive it. I've tried to do everything I can to uh, engineer it that way. Mm, yeah, without Kylo Ren and Mass, you lose really a lot of uh, survivability, unfortunately. So let's do this, and then basic down Ray. But I mean, I can't complain considering how much uh, I have left on the field here. 51 definitely better than like 47. All right, uh, back wall. CLS against JKR. Uh, let's target, I think Grandmaster Yoda first. Wow, that's a phenomenal head start there. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Okay, let's think about this. Uh, do I want to go straight for Jolie? I think I want to push back J Jedi Knight Revan's turn meter here. But he's still got the... Uh, tenacity up. Let's get rid of that. That's pretty good. And now I think I want to go for Jolie. Do that. And then in the next turn... The Chewie takes... Should be able to mow them down. Yeah, I did say this was gonna get uh, dirty. So how do you play this? Um, hmm. Let's immediately kill Newt. And make sure that I kill him the second time as well. That should be possible with Sith Troopers AoE already here. Uh, damn though, that's early. But I think I'll have to do it. Like any kill I can get, I should basically take. Oof, okay. <laughs> Looks like that might be all I get. But I think B2 doesn't have a lot of health. So he should go down here and Magna might too. Yes, perfect. Okay, well this is a pretty good uh, two shot then. Quite happy with that. Heck, maybe. Nah, that's too big of a maybe. Let's give him a two turn stun. Uh, we Maybe, I was gonna say, maybe I can take uh, B1 down here. Let's heal a bit. Uh, a lot. Dude, if this team can pull it off, that would be freaking amazing. Get the retribution up, so that I now... Yep, counter kill. Um, hello. This is actually amazing. I mean, I'm not going to make it here. I think I can't take Grievous down, but... Yeah, there he goes. That's pretty neat. I'm uh, quite pleased with that. Didn't think I would get four down, especially after I immediately lost two. So let's try to get through it before Grievous takes a turn. There we go. So that's the cleanest in terms of banners, that's what I figured anyway. And then we do fleets. Uh, I don't need to count banners, there's no way with like how well I've done on his Galactic Legends that uh, I'll be close to him unless I lose here, but that shouldn't be possible with what I kept for offense. Unless, fingers crossed, game crashes. I've seen so many posts today from people that were that were saying that they got a game crash. It's uh, honestly like, it just makes this very uncomfortable. Just quickly going out and back in here, making sure I am attacking the right team. I'll bring Ahsoka just, just to be safe. Don't think I need it, almost never need so I literally just called it. I pressed the battle button and my game crashed. Hope that didn't count, but fairly sure it counted. That was my game crashing just now, and I'm gonna give it a very high chance that it counted. Let's see. Yep, that's negotiator gone. Oh my freaking god. That is ridiculous. 
Like, how do I even know I can go back in safely now? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do a fleet battle here first, I guess. That's absolutely stupid. Uh, I was just talking about it, maybe I jinxed it. So now I might need to count the banners. So I guess I'll go do that first. See if I need to undersize this heavily. Ah, oh, that's so disgusting though. Alright, well as long as I'm able to one-shot these fleets I should be okay, but... I mean... I pretty much have no guarantee that's gonna happen. Or that it won't just crash again. So these are the fleets I have left. Finalizer, my rebels and some kind of cleanup. Uh, so finalizer against rebels typically does great. But my rebels against his TIE Bomber fleet does not do great at all. So that would be a problem. Uh, so based on that I think I would rather switch it up and use finalizer on the Empire fleet. And then mirror the, the rebel fleet. Uh, I feel like that might have a better chance, especially because his Millennium Falcon isn't as strong as mine. So uh, I think I'll go with that instead. So first order. Go with some scoundrels here. And this should do. Dude, any more game crash and it's over, it's a loss. Disgusting. Anyway, let's see how we do. Let's freaking win this. Could have also put Hunted on uh, Hound's Tooth, actually, so that it doesn't gain turn meter. That's uh, a fair bit nicer. Uh, let's try and get a stun on Bosk. Perfect. I get a stun on this one. Um, hmm. It's ability blocked, so it's not as urgent now to get it. So let's actually save the full turn passing. Just gonna try and get him low. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna work. I need to get the my hound's tooth out or I'm gonna be in trouble here. So let's do this. Or maybe Xanadu blood first is nicer because then I can call for a stun. Hopefully get that, get some damage on Vader too, maybe, maybe kill him. Okay, that was close. Man, that guy's got so much bonus protection. And it's about to be even more. Uh, again, I've got a fish for kills here. Just keep trying. Oh, I'm so glad he didn't go for Vader. Uh, do the AoE here, that should pick off Vader. Incredible, like I never get nervous for, or not never, that's not fair, but rarely get nervous for battles, but now just purely on the fact of the crashes, it's ridiculous. And I still have a chance to win, but there's plenty of people that had no chance at all. Now let's also pay attention to the timer and to the fact that their capital ship at some point is going to annihilate my tank. That's actually the most pressing issue. Let's pick this guy off first. Hopefully I can get a kill here. Nice, 504k. Wow, that is amazing. All right, that's that one out of the way. Can we go for Rebels? Oh, so relieved that I'm even in. Right, 
I'm gonna try and get rid of Biggs first, probably. Ooh, that's so close, come on. Okay, awesome. Right back at you, mate. As long as I don't put too many more debuffs on him. Oh, wow. Yikes. Uh, always really tempting to call in Cassian. <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying cash at this point, but uh, I'd rather just level the playing field like this. Get him in now. And then hopefully pick off. Nope. No crits, unfortunately. That's going to be the banner strip. Uh, not happy with that. But 18 assists later. I could have maybe done the heal there for an extra banner, but I just want to get this over with, as you can imagine. 63, I'm happy with that. And final score is only 11 banners over him. Gross, that should have been uh, 2100, which is still not great, but that would have been uh, more than 20 banners above him. So uh, not super happy with that, but at least I won. Um, I just want to never ever see a crash again. So it would be great if this billion dollar game... I know it's been said a billion times over, but really, please, guys, fix this. Fix this. Thank you.